Seoul is a city where tradition meets modernity. From iconic landmarks to local favorites, we'll show you the best things to do to have the best Seoul experience this summer. But before we begin, kindly hit the like button on your screen and subscribe to this channel to enjoy the best summer travel updates. Now, let's get right into it. On number 1, we have visiting the Cheongdeokgung Palace. Cheongdeokgung Palace is a majestic UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most well-preserved royal palaces from the Joseon Dynasty. Built in 1405 by King Taizhong, this stunning palace was the epicenter of staff affairs and the royal family's residence. Its unique blend of architecture and nature, designed according to Pengzhu principles, sets it apart from conventional palace design. Situated at the foot of Mount Baigak Sun, the palace complex occupies a 57.9 hectare site in northern Seoul. Originally built as a secondary palace to Gyeongbokgung, Cheongdeokgung Palace boasts a distinct purpose and spatial layout. Its adaption to the natural terrain, with palace structures to the south and the secret garden to the north, creates a harmonious balance. With over 56,000 trees and plants, including walnut, white oak, and ginkgo, the secret garden is a tranquil oasis. The garden's beautifully landscaped terraces, lawns, and pavilions create a peaceful atmosphere, making it a must-visit attraction in Seoul, South Korea. Number 2. Myeongdong Myeongdong is Seoul's premier shopping and cultural district. This business hub is a destination that should not be missed for anyone looking to experience the best of Korean retail and culture. The busy neighborhood attracts 2 million visitors daily and offers unparalleled diverse shopping options. From luxury designer boutiques to affordable street fashion, Myeongdong offers something for every style and budget. The business hub is home to iconic department stores like Lotte and Shinsegai, as well as popular shopping malls like Noon Square and M Plaza. Visitors can also discover the latest skincare and cosmetics at renowned brands like Nature Republic, Etude House, and The Face Shop. To ensure a great shopping experience, Myeongdong streets are pedestrian-friendly, closing to vehicles during the day to accommodate the crowds. Myeongdong is also known for its rich cultural heritage, with historic landmarks like the Nam Daemon Market and the Myeongdong Catholic Cathedral. Whether you are a shopaholic, a foodie, or cultural enthusiast, Myeongdong has something for everyone. Then you can visit the revered Jungmyo Shrine. For any history enthusiast, visiting Jungmyo is one of the best things to do in Seoul. Jungmyo Shrine is a treasured remnant of Korea's rich cultural past, preserving the legacy of the Joseon dynasty that lasted between 1392 and 1910. This ancient Confucian royal shrine has existed since its rebuild in the 16th century after the Japanese invasion. Jungmyo Shrine houses tablets of former royal family members. The ritual ceremonies performed in this shrine are a blend of music, song, and dances to honor the forefathers, a tradition that dates back to the 14th century. Set amidst a serene 19.4 hectare oasis, Jungmyo's buildings harmonize with nature in total adherence to traditional Pengsu principles. The main shrine, Jungjian, and the Auxiliary Hall of Eternal Peace, Yongin Yongjun, form the heart of the complex. Over time, successive monarchs expanded the spirit chambers, now housing 49 tablets in Jungjun and 34 in Yeonyeonjun. Other notable features include Mangmyoru, a contemplative wooden structure, Gongmingdang, a shrine honoring Goryeo King Gongmin, Hyang Daisheng, a storage building for ritual utensils, and Zhaigong, a grand hall where the king and participants prepared for ceremonies. Till now, Jungmyo remains an authentic and vital part of Korea's cultural heritage. Now, what's the point of visiting Seoul if you won't get to the end Seoul Tower? 
The N Seoul Tower is a majestic landmark that offers breathtaking 360-degree views of the city of Seoul. Standing tall at 480 meters above sea level, this impressive structure is a must-visit attraction for anyone looking to experience the best of Seoul. The tower's observation deck offers a unique and panoramic view of the city. Here you'll be treated to stunning vistas of the city's skyline, making it a perfect spot for photography enthusiasts and travelers alike. N Seoul Tower is more than just a viewing platform. It's also a cultural icon with a rich history. Built in 1969 as a radio wave tower, it's since become a symbol of Seoul's growth and development. Today, it's a popular spot for couples to declare their love, with the love padlocks tradition adding a romantic touch to the tower's charm. A visit to the tower allows you to enjoy a culinary adventure at one of the tower's many restaurants, serving up everything from traditional Korean cuisine to international flavors. And as the sun sets, the tower transforms into a dazzling display of lights and colors, making it a truly unforgettable experience. With its rich history, cultural significance, and stunning views, N Seoul Tower is absolutely a place you don't want to miss out on during a visit to Seoul. And the same applies to the Bukchon Hano Village too. Bukchon Hano Village is a charming residential neighborhood in Seoul's Jungno district. This historic village is home to over 900 traditional Korean houses, known as Hangos, which date back to the Joseon dynasty. Hanos are built from natural materials like Korean red pine wood, earth, and stone, and many have been beautifully restored to their former glory. Occupying a space between the Jungmyo Shrine and the Grand H of Gyeongbokgung and Cheongdyokgung, the village offers a unique glimpse into the traditional way of Korean life. It was once the residence of the royal families and aristocrats, and you can still sense the elegance and refinement of that era. You can learn about the brewing process of Samhaju, a special soju served at palace functions at the traditional liquor brewery. The beautiful Hanos are a sight to behold, and the village's warm atmosphere will surely captivate. The village also features museums, galleries, craft workshops, and restaurants, making it a must-visit destination for anyone interested in Korean culture and history. On number 6, we have the tour around Gyeongbokgung Palace, the largest and most iconic of the five grand palaces of the Joseon Dynasty. Located in central Seoul, Gyeongbokgung Palace is a crown jewel of Korean history and culture. Built in 1395 by King Taizhou, it's home to hundreds of buildings, including the National Folk Museum and the National Palace Museum, offering a glimpse into Korea's fascinating past. One of the exciting attractions of this palace is the Royal Changing of the Guard Ceremony, which takes place twice a day between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. The beautifully restored buildings, including the Gyeongho Ru Pavilion, Hyangwon Jeon Pond, and the sculptures of Gyeon Jeong Jeon are also a highlight of the palace. As you plan your visit, remember that adult admission is 3,000 won, with a reduced rate of 1,500 won for children between 7 and 18. However, admission is free for children under 6, seniors over 65, and anyone wearing a hanbo. Additionally, visitors can enjoy free admission on Culture Day, the last Wednesday of every month. The palace is closed on Tuesdays, so it's better to plan your visit accordingly. With its rich history and stunning beauty, Gyeongbokgung Palace is a must-see destination for anyone visiting Seoul. And lastly, you can round off your visit to Seoul by exploring Korean history at the National Museum of Korea. The National Museum of Korea is a treasure trove of Korean culture and history, with over 400,000 relics and 12,000 masterpieces on display. This iconic museum takes you on a journey through time, from the Paleolithic age to the early 20th century. Through its six galleries, the museum offers an unparalleled exploration of Korea's rich heritage. From the pensive Bodhisattva 
to the Gorillo Celadon openwork burner and gold crown from Sila, there are many national treasures to be discovered. The Asian gallery features masterpieces from diverse Asian countries, revealing the unique characteristics of each culture and their shared universality. But the National Museum of Korea is more than just a museum. It's a cultural complex offering various educational programs and cultural events. For example, the fascinating Silk Road exhibit features artifacts from Central Asia, East Asia, and Korea, including the remarkable Sinan undersea relics. These 14th century Chinese goods, excavated from a sunken trading ship, provide a glimpse into ancient trade routes and cultural exchange. In the Prehistory and Ancient History Gallery, you'll find the international aspects of the Sila Kingdoms, 57 BCE to 676 CE, with foreign artifacts and traces of Western culture and burial mound figures, showcasing the kingdom's connections to the Silk Roads. With its vast collection, stunning exhibitions, and engaging programs, the National Museum of Korea promises a hard-to-forget experience. And that's it, guys. We just took you through the seven best things to do in Seoul, South Korea. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you'll be among the first to know when we publish the next summer travel update video. Bye for now, and see you in the next one.